taking a look at a PH8A type spin-on filter that was installed on an air-cooled Volkswagen for roughly uh, 24,000 miles. I was certain this was a Motorcraft filter and I paint these yellow because they show on the car but uh, I went to take the yellow paint off to find the Motorcraft name underneath but it's actually black underneath so now I think it might be a Wix I did find this number here it kinda looks like 61515 and I thought the Wix was 51515 so hopefully from the inside details we can tell exactly what this was but again it was painted black so I think it was a Wix also before I took the paint off I took a photograph of uh, notes that I've taken over the years and there's my calculation of the mileage now since the car usually has oversized tires at the front that estimate 24,300 miles I'm sure is on the conservative side the real figure is at least 10 percent higher than that on account of the tires I had a finishing nail in here and let it drain for actually a long time here's my oil filter cutting tool I think I got this from Jags and uh, frankly it works a lot better after I relieve some material there so the seam of the filter canister doesn't jam against the cutter itself so the filter goes in like that now what I want to find out here is are these getting so plugged up that I should be replacing them earlier or not? That's probably a pretty thin case there. It cut open pretty easily. Not much oil left inside. Now this sat on there like that, the anti-drain back valve, you can see some spring action in there that is the oil pressure relief. Now I've seen some information on the internet recently and it makes sense to me. It's better to have the pressure relief up here at the top because if it's at the bottom and it opens up that could wash grit that's in the oil into the engine so here's the here's the element and in the canister I don't know if it's plain I don't see any uh, buildup of debris now this is mounted on the car inverted but I don't see a big pile up of debris on the the bottom here either there's a spring inside that held that inside the casing and as I was saying earlier if the pressure relief is here I've seen talk on the internet if that opens any debris might wash out of here and go into the engine so that might be something to think about so looking at the folds of the paper I don't see that it's really begun to plug up with much of anything so I'll take a utility knife
See if I can unfold the paper. We'll get a closer look between the folds. Since this filter has a pressure relief or a bypass, there's no way of knowing how often that's been opening. That if somehow microscopically the paper is actually plugged, though it doesn't look like it, and maybe the pressure relief's been opening, I have no way to tell. Also not sure I'm cutting deep enough for this paper to come out, but I'll know in a moment. Here it comes. So looking at the folds of the paper here, you can see yeah, a little bit of silver metal. In the very valley of the fold, yeah, a little bit of crud is built up, but it's not like the the valleys are even five percent full. So perhaps fortunately, this engine is not pumping out a lot of debris. Hopefully it's visible in the camera there. I think that's as far as I'll go. I think the, the point is made here. You can see some flakes of stuff that came out of the engine, some silver metal, but we're not close to filling up, you know, these valleys, which would be my measure of how much life the oil filter has left. So, <clears throat> to recap here, I think this is a Wix filter. Maybe from its internal construction, someone can confirm that for me. It was on the air-cooled Volkswagen exclusively for over 24,000 miles in a full flow setup where 100% of the engine oil is going through this filter. We saw it, the filter is equipped with this bypass valve, this uh, anti-drain back valve, this spring holds the the media against the cap and in the metal container itself you know next to nothing <clears throat> I guess I want to point out the uh, perforated tube is a spiral construction and uh, I see no evidence of it collapsing of course one would think the bypass would open before the the tube was threatened so I am confident that no harm was done leaving this on the engine for 24,000 miles it does mean I don't change them that often it'll be two or three years before I can do another all VW oil filter tear down. I've got a mobile one filter on there now. I think that covers it. Thanks and be sure and watch my other videos.